All right, so if you guys have ever tried... Uh, shut up. If you guys have done any sort of powder coating, you know that one of the biggest problems are little pieces. Right now, my solution has been to take a little bit of weld wire, stick it on there, uh, just with a small little tack, and then the powder coater can hang the piece from that wire to do their coating, and when we're done, that'll just break off, and that works pretty well. So, just a brief interlude to explain what powder coating is, from my friend Chad from Mancrafting. Obviously, it's a powder, and it's electrostatically charged to the metal that it's going to be applied to. Meaning that you need an electric current flowing to the part that you're powder coating hence the conductive wire. And then it's put into an oven where it's heat cured. Generally it's polyester or a urethane material and the reason that people use powder coating over say paint, it's much more durable. Thanks Chad. That'll just break off and that works pretty well except that you have this little bump. This one was a, a really good one so it's small. Sometimes you know they end up being a little bit more obnoxious like that and that's not what you want. These pieces are the cutouts for letters. This is the inside of an O. These are called counters and you know as good as that almost is it's still not great. What we end up doing a lot of times is putting this in water and then gently grinding that off just to save the powder coating. So I had an idea with this sign when I had it powder coated I had my normal set done the normal way. We've got a wire, we'll break that off. And this would go on here with some VHB tape. And as you see, because of that little weld, this rocks. Now with the thickness of VHB tape, that's normally okay. But I was thinking there has to be a better way. And turns out there is. What I have is some conductive copper tape with a conductive adhesive. We laid this on the powder coated piece and it got totally covered up. It worked out pretty well. We're just gonna peel this off. The tape breaks, and you're not worried about that. This is an interior sign. If it was exterior, you might wanna cover that with some clear coat. Boom, you see now it sits perfectly flat. So I'll have a link in the description to this tape. Uh, this is like quarter inch thick copper tape. It comes in a bunch of different sizes. I think it's like six or seven dollars a roll. I bought a two pack. Good thing to have. Um, you might have to convince your powder coater to try it, but mine was willing to and it worked and now he ordered himself a couple rolls so he can do little pieces that way. So, if you guys appreciate these shop tips, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.